Morning, my name is Stefan Fischer. I'm the host of Africa Sportsman Show. I'm standing next to Tini Bamberger from Warthog Safaris. Next to him is my good friend Kuni Meyer. Uh, Kuni will be looking to hunt his first lion this week, so Tini, um, please tell us the plan of action. Yes, guys, um, hopefully we'll pick up some good spoor this morning. This is our first day. Uh, it's the change of seasons now, the wind's blowing quite a bit. It, so as soon as we pick up a spoor, we'll try and determine which area and which direction the lion's going into and then we'll take it from there. And um, Kuni, you're going to be using your 375? Yeah, um, 375 what, what ammo have you loaded? This is a 300 grain uh, Nosler partition Okay. at around 2450 feet per second. Yeah, that's perfect. I see you yeah. took your scope off. Yeah. Tini, it is quite, um, quite thick in here at some places. Uh, so. Definitely open sights is the better option if you can shoot straight. Yeah, I think so. You know, it's it's going to be a real close range. Um, we haven't had good rains, but it's still early in the season, so it's very thick. Yeah. The brush is thick, and um, I don't foresee that we'll be shooting over 30 yards at the most, probably. And and yeah, yeah, your place it's always the same. The same rules. There's there's not only one lion in the camp. No, there's multiple lions, and you know we'll have to go and see what we find. But we we're looking for a big male this week, so yeah. um, hopefully we can get Kuni and Ice trophy. Thanks guys, let's uh, let's cut down a tree and uh, we can start we can start dragging the road. Okay, for the first bullet. Found some, found some tracks, but um, looks to be about two, three days old. So it's a good thing to to be covering them. So we have a fresh start in all the roads. So we have what, about an hour left. Um, we're reaching that point now. We are starting to cover some of our tracks of earlier the day. So we don't want to miss a spoor. So that's why we, you know, we're walking on the tracks. If we miss something now, I mean, it's a, it's that's going to be crucial if we if we miss it. So that's why we're walking. What do you say? We have another hour left. I think we have about an hour left. Um, we'll keep pushing. Because basically, even if we just find good solid spoor, we've been seeing some tracks um, on and off today, but nothing that we were confident that was actually today's tracks. Or you know, and even if it was early this morning's tracks, you're seven, eight, uh, eight, nine hours behind it. It yeah. wouldn't help you. You're trying to find a track that's no more than two, two and a half, three hours old. Yeah. If you catch it in the morning, usually by the middle of the day, you'll catch up to it when it's getting warm and they're starting to bed down. But 
So right now we haven't found anything. We've pretty much covered quite a bit of the area. Uh, we dragged most of the main roads. So hopefully we'll pick up some good support tomorrow. But um, you know, we've been working on your and uh, Kuni's diet all day. <laughs> so I'm glad you guys can carry those big rifles. <laughs> and uh, we'll continue with my um, Atkins diet tomorrow. Thank you, Tini. Yeah. We really, uh, really appreciate yes. it. Thank you. Thank you, Tini. Yeah, um, so the first day is over now. We saw some lion tracks this morning. It was exciting. Um, it's all old, it was all old tracks. Um, so we went through the day, we walked a bit, we uh, pulled the, the branches over a lot of roads. And it just made me realize that um, a big part of the experience and of the challenge is to to get the lions, to, to get the spoor, to get to the lions. So it was fun, it was a hard day's work. Um, we haven't seen the lions yet, hopefully in the morning. We, when we get there, we'll get some fresh spoor and we'll be able to, to get on the tracks of the lions and then see what we can, can find. So I'm looking forward to a good night's rest and then to a good day's hunting in the, in the morning. This is our second morning early. We are hoping to find some fresh poor over the, the road where we dragged the branches yesterday. And hopefully we can get on the, the spoor of the lions early this morning and, and find them. There was a lot of activity here yeah, during the night. Uh, Werner and the team are still determining how many lions was here. But we found some fresh tracks and now the, the, the main focus is to find a single male track heading in a certain direction that we can follow. So that's busy, that's what they're busy doing now. Kuni, we finally found some uh, good sign. They either fight it here last night or mark this territory, but there's a lot of mine laying around and you can actually tell by looking at it, it's nice and dark, so hopefully we'll catch up with it soon. Let's try and, you know, we've, we've seen where they were crossing a road this morning and we are on some fresh tracks now and the guys has actually spotted the lion. We just want to make sure that it's the, the lion that we are after. We're really after a real old big black mane uh, male and let's see if we can catch up with it to make sure it's the right one and if it is, Hopefully we'll get a shot. It was overcast yesterday and this morning again there was a strong wind blowing and now we're experiencing some rain. Very very thankful for the rain. Um, and luckily we saw the lion up maybe, I don't know, a kilometer ahead of us in the road. So at least we know where he is now. And Tini has confirmed that it is the correct one through his vine. So, um, but yeah, um, a little bit of a, of a bad the situation with the rain because of the spoor will be will be washed away but we know where the lion is now so even if it rains for quite a bit and all the spoor is gone we know where to start looking so we're gonna wait it out here a bit and uh, found some a little bit of uh, shade or not shade uh, cover from the rain so uh, yeah we're gonna wait a bit and then we're gonna we're gonna continue he's, he's lying in a road ahead of us so uh, uh, we're just waiting for the rain to stop Yeah, we had a nice lunch now. The rain has stopped. Yeah, it's still heavily overcast, yeah. but it has stopped. But uh, 
least maybe we'll get some nice the spoor got to get on the spoor of that big line now yeah everything is everything is is done now there is nothing left so um whatever tracks we see now will be very fresh so uh we've got a lot of time best. yeah we we came back early and we had an early lunch so there's more than half of the day still left um and with these conditions hopefully the lion will be moving uh, it's not too hot for them yeah. and um yeah we just need to find them and then keep up good luck thank you physically saw him went into the bush and then it started to rain heavily so after that because we covered this this road after that these tracks have been made by that line we're going to just try and determine where these tracks go and where they go in and then what the plan will be is to go around this this block and check the other roads on the opposite side Um, I think let's call it a day. Today was a tough day. I mean, early this morning we started off with some solid spoor. We managed to see a good lion that we were really wanting to get, and then it went into a uh, mountain where we couldn't really follow the spoor, and we decided to give it uh, some time. We went to eat, went back, and never saw the track again. So it either rained a little bit too much or it never went out of that block. But the little bit of rain helped a lot, so I think we'll pick up some good spoor again tomorrow. Well, Kuni, this is the morning of day three. Um, we had some wonderful rain last night. The guys calculated it at 39 millimeters, which is a total, total blessing for this area. Um, but yeah, so the the disadvantage we have this morning is we start from scratch. Yeah. All the tracks, uh, there's there's a big positive, like Werner said this morning. There's no old tracks. Now. Anything we come across now is fresh, fresh and new. Yeah, this is quite cool. Um, change of season. Let me just show you here. Um, this is how cold it is. Here's our uh, cameraman. A little bit cold today, guys. Gary. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna have a quick coffee and uh, and start the day. Let's do it. Spotted a female lion there in front in the grass. Um, we're gonna look and see if we can't find the, the male lion as well. And uh, let's see what happens. Yeah, let's you know keep on doing what we're doing drag a little bit we almost thought we got we're gonna get lucky today but then we had that good rains last night we never found decent spoor to work with today we've seen some tracks that was in the rain but nothing after the rain so somewhere that male lion that we saw late yesterday gave us a slip and we didn't catch up with it and it's day three we managed to see that um, lioness 
earlier today in the tall grass. We first thought it was a warthog and then discovered it was a lioness. But there should have been another male there. But the male that we are after went into that rocky area and never came out. That's what we think. We think it never came out, but there is some rocky areas that you could have crossed and, and then, you know, we were so focused on that area because that's where we saw him. Yeah. So, uh, but yeah, three days done, now we start from scratch again. It's almost the end of day three. We have, I don't know, half an hour or so of daylight left. We're gonna continue looking, eh? <laughs> so, well. let's make a final round and um, wrap it up for the day, but we still have a few minutes. Let's go. Let's go for the best. If the fourth day we've picked up some spoor, um, it doesn't look too good because it seems like these lions are staying right in this rocky hill or mountain or whatever you want to call it. But very difficult tracking terrain. We managed to pick up a spoor and it's in here, and we actually don't have nothing to go on. So let's try our best. <laughs> let's keep looking. We're gonna just crisscross this area and see if we pick up a spoor. Let's go. But it's hopefully we'll go out of this. Um, rocky, area. rocky area and we'll be able to follow it. Okay, good. How these guys can pick up a spoor in these rocks, but they just got a fresh one now. Okay.
Halfway over, I was recharged, resting the feet a bit. The, um, the mountain got the better of us after four days, so we're calling it an early night with a nice water after a lovely meal from Ananya. So um, we'll be up five o'clock tomorrow morning again, looking for that mountain lion we're hunting here at this place. <laughs> Day number five. Weather is a uh a bit rainy, a bit Not wet. That's why I've got my uh, raincoat on. So let's see if we can get some tracks. And take it as it comes. Yeah, well, you know. This is turning into a very exciting lion. <laughs> uh, longer than we anticipated, but yeah, that's how it goes. I chose you. This is not a. <laughs> I mean, it's just, this is as wild we, we, Yeah, we talked about it this whole week. This is as wild as you're going to get it in, in the modern Africa with our modern. Uh, model we created yeah. with privately owned land and privately owned animals and the the value on these animals only comes from hunting yeah. yes there's some breeding as well uh, just like any form of cattle or sheep or dogs or whatever there is that of that but what we're doing here is hunting and um, uh, just shows you i mean you can you can have a fence around a big property i mean we the, the size of the property we're hunting in the lion, for the last three days, has been in an area that only covers 5% of that whole area. We've hunted them there for three days, in that area, 5%. I mean, just, just, there's yeah, no yeah. fences in there. Yeah. There it's totally open, so the whole thing is ring-fenced outside to keep Tini's animals that he owns in here. Yeah. For him to, 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 to have his operation run for the next 20 or 30 or 40 or 50 years. So that model, and, and it's sustainable, because yeah. He shoots the old trophy animals and the young ones can come in. And, uh, but it just shows you again on the lion hunting, which is a controversial topic, that that thing can be... I mean, these lions walk here, some of them walk here for six months. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, it, that's, it's as wild as you're going to get it yeah, um, in, in, the modern, uh, in the modern world. And uh, it just shows it's still... I think it's more exciting than any bait hunt you can ever do. Sitting in a blind downwind, waiting for a hungry cat to come and eat something. I don't condemn it at all. That is the way you hunt a lion or a leopard or whatever. Um, but I think in the South African world, the way we do it is much more exciting. Yeah. We struggle a bit more. Um, there's time out of our offices and out of our whatever, but I mean, this is what we chose to do and yeah. we do it. So all in all, in the rain, in the sun, <laughs> difficult terrain. Um, I think this is, this is, a, this is a dream hunt. So, uh, Let's go out there and look for your line. Let's try again. Day number five. Okay, well, um, this rain is really influencing our hunt. We've, uh, we've been struggling. It's day five now. We're very thankful for the rain. We've been coming through a very dry uh, period now. But um, we, we're grateful for the rain and we're trying to pick up some spoor in the rain. So if we pick up something right now, the line is just about got to be in the tracks because it's been washing the tracks away um, for the past couple days. So we'll keep trying. We tried this morning. We were out there for about two hours and covering some of our own tracks. I mean, the rain just keeps washing it away. So it's half senseless in the... I mean, we try to stay dry <laughs> with, uh, with some uh, black bags and you got a shitty poncho from our cameraman that also doesn't work. He's going to go and return that. But yeah, we, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna sit it out. There's no way we can... Yeah, no. Not, not because we don't want to. It's senseless driving there. And half an hour later, your own tracks are washed away. Yeah. In the naked, so we're going to have to sit it out. We don't know where the lions are. We don't know where any lion is, any what is. Like, so. Let's have a nice coffee and maybe a brunch or something. And, Tini said the forecast is another two or three hours, then it might clear up. So uh, let's see let's what happens. Okay. Get some dry clothes on.
We just found some yeah, fresh poor in the same area we've been hunting for the last three days. So now we just need to determine which way it's going. Um, but it's still right next to this thick, thick, thick piece of mountain. We're on top of this mountain. So it could be anywhere, either side of the road, and either side of this track. So we just need to determine which one is on top of each other, so we can check which direction he went, and then we need to start looking for the track that goes into the bush and see if we can follow it. Like you've seen for the last three days, it's almost impossible to track something in there. But we have to give it a go. We follow this poor, we, we saw a lion uh, not too long ago, the, the lion that we were after. And we managed to track it back up to this mountain where it's been hanging out for the past few days. And um, what happened now is something that I've seen many times over the years. They actually circle and then would go back on the same spoor. So here we are back where we walked about half an hour ago. And um, the lion crossed here. So it's difficult with these rocks. And the rain we had, the soil is very, very hard. It doesn't leave a good print. So we're going to be struggling a little bit, but we hope to pick it up from here again. How do you guys feel? Tired. <laughs> well, this is it for day five. I don't know, I think we've been averaging about um, 12 kilometers a day which doesn't seem to be a lot but if you have to do it in this mountain with loose rocks up and down it becomes tough so what do you think no it's definitely tough but i do feel that we are getting closer to it <laughs> only thing i feel is that we're getting one hell of a workout <laughs> so, so besides the workout i don't know what else we are getting but at you least know. we saw it very nicely today from that mountain top when it just came out of the bushes behind, yeah. beneath us. We've had several encounters or actually where we saw it, but uh, never within shooting range. You can see this lion is uh, know, know this terrain by heart. He knows exactly each and every rock here. He knows how to elude us. There's absolutely nothing we can do. He can hear us way before we ever get close to it. And um, we've tried a few things. We. We dragged the road around this uh, mountain, hoping that it would go out. But you know, this morning it was close, and then it did exactly what we wa didn't want it to do. It came all the way back up on this mountain, and it does what every single lion I've hunted in my life. A lot of them, once they realize that you are actually tracking them, they will crisscross their own tracks and be on top of, the, of your own tracks. I mean, this is a huge area where they can go to but they come they tend to come back to an area they like they decide they like this bush they know how to elude you they know how to get away from you and they hang out in this bushes <sighs> let's go drink i mean water <laughs> I just was about to say you're gonna have to drink milk because the camp's whiskey's done <laughs> after four nights. <laughs> Tini, you told me last night that um, as far as you can recall, this is maybe the toughest thing you have done with a rifle over your shoulder. No, definitely. Physically and mentally. But yeah, um, I don't think I've ever hunted this long to get a single species. And this hard. I mean, <laughs> yeah, no, the, time, the time that goes by is one thing. Yeah. But the way you spend that time, this <laughs> climbing and with a heavy gun on your shoulders yeah. on a rocky area, 
thick as hell. You know, you have to maneuver. You have to. It takes it takes a bit out of your body. No, so not, uh, you can feel it, or I can feel it definitely. No, for sure. Especially for sure. this morning. Yeah. And we're not the two fittest guys on the planet either. So, but um, yeah, we're gonna take this day just as any other day. The sun is coming up. The guys are already busy looking for some spoor. We dragged this whole block that we've chased this lion in for the last four, now five, well, four days exactly. Um, so we're just gonna proceed on the on the on the drag marks of yesterday. And hopefully, we pick up a fresh spoor and we know where to start. I hope so too. Okay, let's go. Four and a half days. This lion has come out of the mountain. We've seen him three or four times. We couldn't have been really close. Yeah. So um, it will be easier to to follow the track out here in the open. So we hope he we've been we've, what 800, 900 meters already from the mountain. So hopefully he keeps this course. It's going to be a lot easier to track him here, and the sun is starting to beat down now. So hopefully he will be somewhere in the shade. So it's half, half past two now. We've been chasing this lion since, since seven o'clock this morning. Non-stop. We've been on, on its tracks, on its tracks. Yeah. Seven um, and a half hours straight yeah. without resting, and, and him, and him also not resting. Yeah, you can see sometimes when you get closer, the tracks get closer together. It runs. Yeah. We saw him four, five times already. Just glimpses of him.
So it's the morning of day seven. Uh, we're tightening the branch to drag the roads again. We're going to look for some spoor now and see if we can maybe get some fresh spoor to start the day off. And uh, hopefully, we'll get the lion today. Seven day may, might be our lucky day. <laughs> Very controversial topic 
that people always have an opinion about size of land, about you know, acreage, they're always concerned about it, and then on top of everything else, the species that we are hunting. But right now, um, Uni, you both, and Stefan, you guys can really say, I mean, for two, three, almost three days, we were hunting a lion that were not in an area more than 200, 250 acres. We just stayed in a small well, no fences. No fences, but a small portion of the yeah. property. And it's just to show you that it doesn't always matter. Size does not always matter when it comes to the area that you're hunting in, but the terrain really makes a big difference. Is it close for sure. So, you know, today, yesterday, we had walk 20 kilometers, we had almost six, how many encounters? Yeah, you know, six or seven, it was six or seven encounters. And it was just not possible to get a good thing killed shot. So, but, you know, it's, like you say, somewhat disappointing because we, we haven't smoked a cigar yet, but uh, I hope that we'll be seeing you back here again within the next couple of weeks. The permit is still valid, so we are still good to go. The lions are still there. We've seen multiple lions while we were hunting there. Uh, we've seen numerous other game species. I think it was, like I say, it was challenging. It was very challenging for me too. I have to say it's the first time in my hunting career that somebody goes home after seven days and didn't get his life. Um, and like you say, it's, you know, it's a unique experience. It's a different, different part of the country, different methods of hunting. For sure. So, if you want a challenge, this is it. If you want a challenge, I think this is it. No, definitely. This is it. And yeah, any anyway, thank you. It's a, yeah. it's a great experience for me. Um, I heard a lot of things coming here too. Hunt a lion. There was a lot of things that people told me to do this and that's easy and this. But I can go home now without a lion. Tell them that this is really a challenge. Um, and yeah, thanks. It, it was it's a great time. It was a great experience here with you. And the service was excellent. Yeah. Your trackers are phenomenal. Um, yeah, thank you very much. I enjoyed it very much. See each other in a couple of weeks. Yes, it is. I'll definitely be back. Thanks a lot. Well, Kuni, Stefan, here we are back again. Um, we took a little break from the activities we had for last week and we had several encounters on this lion hunt. We're back now, actually starting day eight after a short break we took. But let's see what uh, the day brings and it's nice and early. We've already spotted or seen some good spoor. Let's take it from here and see what we get for the day. Let's Great. see what happens. We got some fresh tracks this morning. We needed a lot of preparation work um, yesterday evening, just before we got here, in terms of dragging some roads. So we got a fresh track. We went over these same mountains that we hunted so last, uh, so hard a um, couple of weeks ago, a couple of days ago. So um, we just lost the track here. Well, we can't find it yet again. So we're thinking that he might be back in those mountains. So we're going to circle around. We drag this road now, and then. Uh, we, uh, we're gonna pick it up from where we found those last fresh tracks over there and we start on, start on foot.
is the end of day eight. Um, a pretty grueling day and a disappointing day. But tell us about it. You saw the, you saw the, uh, the lion numerous times today. We yeah. split up a little bit, uh, trying to you know to get ahead of him in a sense in in checking where he crosses the road or whatever. But we just couldn't. He just kept evading us. No, he outsmarted us. <laughs> <laughs> now we saw him about six or seven times today. But we were in the mountain the whole day. We the, the one time we were like four or five meters yeah, from him. Yeah, we yeah, yeah. It. We were very, very close. But we were in the mountain the whole day. That lion never came out of that mountain um, at all. Yeah, so <laughs> so this I'm, I'm pretty tired of, of being in the mountain. I can, I can tell you that. Yeah, it's not the first. It's not the first time you walked that, that mountain. So I know it like the palm of my hand by now. <laughs> the only, the only um, one that knows it better than you is that lion at the moment. So the sun is busy setting. We're gonna close off the day. Um, Model is pretty low, but let's have a cold beer or six around the fire and <laughs> strategize. We know exactly where he is. It's just, it's just heartbreaking when you get a spoor and it goes into that rocky area and you don't know which direction to go. Yeah. You know, it's, 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 no, it's you tough. Can't, you can't take the spoor up there. Also. It's, I mean, it's impossible. It. But let's, let's regroup. Let's get our feet up and um, let's take it again tomorrow morning. Well, we've got lots of plans. Let's see if some of them <laughs> can work. <laughs> In the morning hours. I think we'll manage to catch up with it today. I can I can see you there. So. Okay. Till then. Yeah. All right. So let me let begin now. Let's start. Only bang with some car. It's cooler. All right. Well, um, good morning again. Yeah. <laughs> like the yeah. one, two. Well, Kuni, this is now day nine, really. We know, none of us has thought uh, we're going to be hunting so long. This is not going to be a, a, a hunting episode on our channel. It's going to be a series. It's a series. <laughs> so anyway, the good thing about the whole deal is, is you guys brought me a lot of rain. Since you since you come, we almost had about, what, 75 to 80 millimeters yeah. in the nine days. So adding that to our story, it actually um, it all adds up. But today's day nine. We finally, it's it's just about seven o'clock in the morning. We have a good spoor and we're starting from here. So let's hope today delivers a good lion. Let's hope today's the day. And we can see that the, that spoor is after the rain has fell. So it yeah. means it's it's one hour, one and a half hour ago. Yeah, yeah it's it, like you said, it was what stopped the raining about five o'clock. Five, five, five thirty. Five thirty. Mm. So it's now seven. So an hour and a half. So yeah. we're really on a good spoor. Yeah. Right. Well good, worth following. Let's go. Let's go. So by her live here, cop on here. And then we should not drag, you know. 
Vekat. Aš įeina į kiekį. Antrai kapo. Ik heb het niet lekker gewild om te komen fucking skiet. Yes, but that first shot was a setter. Ja. He was down immediately. He ate well, he didn't go up again. No. But I just made sure because it's very thicky. Yes, who spotted it? Ja. Well done, Tom. Ja. What is that? 17, 18 meter. Ja. Just under 20. Rijdt al een andere kilometer maar. Ik denk dat mij of pas een andere kilometer bij nou. Ja, als je. I think he was fed up. Yeah. No, well, you could see there. He decided running no more. In the thickest bush he could find. Bush he could find. Yeah. Wait it. When I got here, I thought maybe we should go a bit closer, but then I thought if he start, pick starts up and run again, yeah. my uh, patience or my strength are getting low. <laughs> but good shot placement. Werner, well called as well, eh? In terms of, it was a difficult angle, but you could clearly see where the black mane stopped. Yeah. It was lying a little bit away, so, you know, where you put it in there, I think it was a, I mean, it was a, it was a set of really powerful cartridge you're using, so, uh, no, good shooting, eh? Thank you. Kom eens op zijn boot met je boot. Dan niet je geweer recht. Wel dan, Pri. Dank je. Wel dan. Dank je, Stef. Great jury. Great jury. Wat een awesome lion, hè? Ja, nu is het heel mooi. Heel mooi lion. Ja. Check de size van de link, hè? Ja. Well, Kuni, this is this is the result of nine days, well, eight and a half days of of I don't know. It's a, it's the toughest thing I've ever done. Yeah, me too, definitely. Um, but so it was fun. <laughs> it was definitely fun, and a but I mean, it's a rewarding feeling yeah, sitting definitely. here in this thick bush. I mean, this is where this cat made his last stance, and 
you know, we won't say he waited for us, but I mean, I think he was fed up running yeah. after after all this time. And um, we haven't gotten, you know, to a place where we can say for certain that he has eaten because we've been pushing him yeah. every day, the whole day. Um, so maybe at night time he got lucky and ate something somewhere. But I, this morning, I, you know, it struck me that maybe he, you know his energy levels are also getting low. So, but well done. We're gonna try and get him out of here in one piece. And then uh, set him up for a photo and uh, we'll meet up with Tini there. Thank you, Steve. Well done. Well done. Thanks for making this with me. It was a great privilege hunting with you. Got him along your name for you. Yeah. Okay, get him. He's going to work. He's going to be too long. Yeah. Well, you can see that 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 you can well done. Thank you, Tini. Well deserved trophy. Nine days of hunting. I think uh, you really deserve this one. You know, we're always talking about how somebody deserves a trophy and how not. And then you think, well, you don't really deserve it if you get it on the first day, but you really deserve it when you get it on the fourth day. Well, you've been working nine days. And uh, I think we've had tough conditions, um, rain and difficult tracking conditions, and well done on a magnificent trophy. I don't think any lion gets much better than this. You know, no. this is the ultimate, and it was an ultimate hunt as well. Definitely. So well deserved. Congratulations. Definitely. Thank you very much, Tini. Thank you for the privilege. Yeah, you're welcome. Well, guys, just from my side, um, Africa Sportsman Show, I mean, what a privilege. You know, it would have been a privilege just to hunt with you again, Tini, and, and with one of my best mates, Kuni. But I mean, to have done it in, in, in such a fashion, I mean, it's I, I think it's going to be a long time before somebody documents a hunt like this again. Um, so from my side, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Tini. Uh, thank you, Stefan, also for, for coming on me with this hunt. And Tini, thank you for the privilege of hunting a magnificent animal like this. Yeah, at your property. Right. Thank you very much. Stefan, Kuni, you guys are very welcome. Like um, you've experienced before, Stefan. You know, on average, uh, we usually get done within three to five days uh, with proper tracking and with all the help of the good trackers and so on we have. Um, and this time it took us nine days. We've had a little bit of weather conditions, but it was a, a very exciting hunt. We've had some close calls. We've had numerous encounters we've seen different lions over the past nine days yeah. and um, this was the lion a very old big black mane lion we were after and we finally connected and a uh, good job from Werner and Tilmoor you guys really did a good job and um, thank you for being here and thank you for hunting with us thanks Tini. thanks Tini Kuni, on conclusion of a nine-day lion hunt here in the Limpopo bushveld, I just want to congratulate you and uh, from me and Ananya side, well done. Really, it was one great hunt. Stefan, yes, we had a good time. Um, it was tough, tough conditions. Thank you for the rain you guys brought anyway. 
pleasure. But yes, it was. Uh, we had a lot of fun and um, congratulations on uh, one of the nicest lions we've ever hunted here in the Limpopo. Definitely one for the books and uh, definitely one to celebrate. For sure. Cheers, guys. Well, Cheers. Thank you very much, Cheers. guys. Well thank, done, you, thank you, Ananya. And well done to Warthog Safaris as well.